Uh, you guys know what an eyeshadow palette addict I am. So I've talked a lot about eyeshadow palettes on my channel recently, but I have a lot more that have entered my collection that I haven't even talked about. You might have seen some of these palettes on my Instagram stories, but other than that, I haven't gotten the chance to talk about these palettes. So I'm going to share with you 14 eyeshadow palettes that have recently entered my collection. It's a lot. These are real good. Let's get into it. So we are going to start off with the palette that I am currently wearing today. This is Nomad's most recent launch. This is the Nomad Cosmetics Paradise Islands palette and as you can tell by my eyeshadow alone, it's an incredibly bright but beautiful palette. I literally feel like a mermaid with my makeup today. So here is the packaging. It is so cute. If you don't know Nomad Cosmetics, they are an indie brand and they base their palettes off of where they travel to. So each palette is based on a different place. And we have really fun tropical colors here. And I've had hit and miss experiences with Nomad Cosmetics. So I use this palette today like like I said, and this palette is pretty nice. I haven't used all of the colors to give my final thoughts. This is my first time using it. So far, so good. The only color that I had a little bit of trouble with was this shade right here, which is typically a harder shade to formulate. I thought it got a little patchy here. It took a little extra time to blend out, but other than that, I had a really good experience with the shimmers here, and most of the mattes were fine as well, but I definitely want to continue using this. But I can tell you this color story, Nomad does some of the best jobs with curating color stories in my opinion. So what I did for today's look, it's pretty simple. I used a seashell right here on the inner half of my crease and then I faded it out all the way. I kept it kind of high because I wanted it to bleed through my look. This has really good pigmentation and it really didn't fade, which is something that I normally worry about with shades of this nature, but it did a really beautiful job of holding its own. Then I went in with Stingray right here in the outer half of my crease. This is a shade that I'm not too sure about. It worked better on one of my eyes than the other <laughs> on the first eye that I did. It was a little patchy and harder to blend out. The second eye that I did, I had a little bit of an easier time. So I'm going to need to do more investigation on this one. And then to kind of deepen the outer corner and keep in mind, there's not a ton of depth that you can get from this palette. Your look is going to be pretty bright. I used Lizard right here, which is one of the deepest shades in my outer corner. And I just feel like it really amped up this look and made it what it is. It was like the secret recipe to completing a beautiful look. So I have this in the outer corner. In the center of the lid, I have Shark. I'm obsessed with this shade. It is so multi-dimensional and it works perfectly with the blues and greens. Really high quality, best applied with a finger, but I love this. And I wasn't sure how Sun was going to do, but I did apply this on the inner third of my eyelid. I did use a brush to apply it and it is so beautiful. It's definitely not as dimensional as Shark right here. I just looked outside and it's randomly raining, but super sunny. But anyways, it's in the inner third of my eyelid. I think it's really pretty as well. It bled out perfectly from the seashell shade. And then finally on my inner corner highlight, I have Bora Bora, which is a duochrome shade, but it's kind of more of a satin finish. It's very unique. I think it's really pretty in the inner corner. So I had a very positive experience with this. I do have a discount code with Nomad Cosmetics. It is affiliated. I will have it down below if you're interested, but I definitely like this palette a lot, but I do want to continue playing with these because some of the mattes I need to investigate, but so far, so good. Really great if you love colors. The next palette that I received, I have a lot of my indie ones up front because I love giving my indie brands attention. This is from a brand called Fantasy Cosmetica, and I believe they are a new brand, and this is their first palette to ever come out. They reached out to me on email asking me if they could send me their new palette, this is called the Druid palette, I believe. Here's the packaging. You can already tell it's going to be a very deep palette. Their website is fantasycosmetica.com. I will link it down below. How beautiful is this color story, you guys? This is so grungy. I feel like Angelica Nikist would wear this palette. <laughs> like I feel like she would do a stunning look if she hasn't already but anyways I'm very impressed by swatches of this palette I haven't used any of the palettes that I'm talking about on the eyes yet besides obviously the Nomad one but the shimmer seemed really thick and lovely and super dimensional a couple of the mattes I'm not sure about but then a couple of the mattes were also extremely pigmented I'm excited to give this new brand a try this palette is giving me ABH subculture vibes but definitely amped up and more beautiful 
people. So if you are an indie brand lover, this looks like it has some potential. Really excited. And thank you to Fantasy Cosmetica for sending this to me and letting me try your palette. Next up, never heard of this brand, was not expecting this. When they reached out to me, I thought that they were just a nail polish brand. And by the way, they sent me some really beautiful multi-chromatic, duo-chromatic nail polishes, but they also threw in a palette and this looks stunning. So this is the What's Up Beauty Geodes eyeshadow palette. It says made in Italy, assembled in the USA, 24 month shelf life, free, cruelty free. I'm loving what they are giving us. So the palette itself is really cute. It's got that geode kind of print on there. And this palette is so beautiful. The green right here is calling my name. The swatches also looked really beautiful. I'm excited to use this palette. I was not expecting this. Uh, this has a lot of potential. This looks like it's going to be a stunning eyeshadow palette. So I'm pleasantly surprised by this palette. Didn't know I was getting it, but I'm so happy that I did. I am so, so intrigued by this. Ace Beauty sent over a very, very large eyeshadow palette. I posted this in a vlog a few weeks ago when it came in PR, but this is the Ace Beauty Quintessential Eyeshadow Palette. It is a huge, huge palette. In the last year, Ace Beauty has reformulated their eyeshadows. I haven't liked their previous ones from last year's, but I have not yet tried their new eyeshadow formula. I definitely need to do that. I've had their palettes for a while. But I love Ace Beauty's palettes as well. This one is quite warm. It's definitely not to my taste, but I love how large it is and the options. This is definitely very neutral. Ace Beauty also manages to keep it affordable. The swatches on this seemed really, really nice, really thick. And this just seems like a really nice functional palette that I think a lot of you will like. So I can't wait to mess around with this a little bit. This blue and orange combo for some reason is calling my name. So the swatches seem very very promising so I'm excited to give this a try thank you Ace Beauty for sending this to me okay so these next handful of palettes you guys have seen before I hauled them from camera ready cosmetics camera ready sent over a very very generous package to me and I didn't get the chance to swatch the eyeshadows in that video so I wanted to swatch them in this video so I have four palettes that camera ready sent over so let's take a look at the first one which is the Visi art petite mattes dark palette this is such an exciting palette for me because busy arts became huge for their 80 dollar neutral matte palettes because busy art has some of the best mattes in the world i'm telling you but those palettes were obviously not really justifiable 80 dollars for all of those mattes so they have now taken those iconic palettes and made them into tiny little palettes so you get less product but it's literally half the price $40 which makes this a much more reasonable palette to pick up. Now I have most of the $80 ones anyways because I'm such a fan but the one color story that I didn't have was the matte dark so I took the opportunity to get this one since I didn't have it and it's $40 and for somebody with a collection my size this just makes more sense to have. Super grungy palette really beautiful excited about this this for me i'm definitely going to pull out more in the fall but i think these are some of the best value and to make it even better if you use the code i think it's morgan turner if it's something else i'll write it down but morgan turner at checkout at camera ready cosmetics you can get 10 percent off so that's nice just something. They were kind enough to give me that code. It's not affiliated or anything. Now what is awesome is that Camera Ready Cosmetics carries Lethal Cosmetics which ships internationally so it takes a while to come to the US. So if you want to order Lethal, Camera Ready Cosmetics is a great way to do that because it's already in the US so shipping typically is going to take less time. So Camera Ready actually sent over three different Lethal palettes. I'm not as familiar with their formula. I know Teresa is dead loves them so I'm excited to give these a try. So this is a new one that you guys haven't seen. I don't even know what the name of it is. It's a very pretty neutral palette. Okay, so this is a Lethal Cosmetics and Camera Ready Cosmetic palette. So camera, it looks like they collaborated with Camera Ready Cosmetics and they put this together. So that's why I hadn't seen it before. And here's what it looks like. And as you can see, it is a absolutely 
stunning, warm, rosy, neutral, everyday palette. I'm excited to dig into this one. I love colorful palettes. You'll see I give a little extra excitement into the colorful palettes, but guess what I always end up using? The neutral palettes. <laughs> so this one is definitely going to get a lot of use for me, but I think it can get some really stunning, rich evening looks as well as everyday looks. So I think it's gonna be versatile in that aspect. So I'm excited about this. You guys haven't seen this one yet if you didn't check out that haul. Now the next next palette that I have, uh, this one, so fun. It has the purples, it has the greens, it has some grungy tones. I think that Lethal really does curate some of the most pretty palettes. So this is the Velvet Dusk palette. Isn't this so fun? I mean, indie brands, they're the ones that are going to curate the color stories that we've been asking for. I love how you have these grungy deep fall tones of course the purple tones if you put purple and green in the same palette i'm all over it like instantly it's a palette that i'm going to love so i'm excited about this one i think it is such a unique color story it really inspires me and there's so many different looks that i can see that i can create with it and everything swatched so nice as well the shimmers seem really really dimensional so we'll see what i think about that oh my gosh you know that this has me written all over it it's a purple palette so when you buy this it actually is going to come in individuals and you have to put it together so in my haul i actually didn't really get to show you this palette so i put it all together for you guys exactly how they have it on the website and i have it all swatched for you so this is really the first look that i'm giving you of the night flower palette and oh my gosh this is definitely i mean lethal has some beautifully curious palettes on their website but this is the one of course that catches my eye the most because it is so purpley and I love all of the different tones of the matte purples that we get here we have some really beautiful shimmers and then of course you even have some blue shimmers to kind of mix it up this shade right here I'm so excited to put this all over my eyeballs soak a little bit into purple heaven with this guy Ugh, I really hope Lethal Cosmetics formula is amazing. I do have the Lethal and Teresa is Dead palette. I think I used it like once, but I can't really remember my thoughts. So I need to dedicate a week or two to just playing with and wearing all of these Lethal palettes because I'm going to assume they're great based on your guys' word, Teresa's word, which is even better because their color stories they do some of the best jobs in my opinion. In a vlog that I posted about a month ago, I shared with you guys that I picked up some Tom Ford quads. So I just wanted to share them today with you, tell you a little bit more info on them. So I got these from the cosmetic company store. If you've never heard of a cosmetic company store, look it up to see if you have one near you. You get discounted makeup from the Estee Lauder brands, essentially the stuff that they had some overstock on or didn't sell limited edition items, they go to that store on a discount. So I got three Tom Ford quads for 50% off so I got them for $44 which is still expensive when you think about it because these are quads but it's a great deal for Tom Ford and the cosmetic company store that I went to had the best selection of Tom Ford quads I've ever seen in a cosmetic company store like they had so many quads that were still sold in store at full price and as you know when I moved away from my parents house I did lose a lot of Tom Ford shadows that I used to have so I picked up a few that I knew I was missing so the first one that I got was Soleil and Lune I honestly was shocked that they had this I think you can still get it but at the time that these launched this one sold out really really quick it's a very frosty light palette you're not going to get a lot of depth with it but I think it's really fun to wear in the winter time and it just gives you the most beautiful frosty eye I love that one the other one that I picked up was a suspicion this is one of my mom's favorites so she held on to this and it's just a very basic golden palette but golden tones flatter everybody they flatter every eye color so I felt that this was a good staple to have in my Tom Ford collection I know a lot of you guys have this as well so I felt like my Tom Ford collection would be missing this one, so I picked it up. Then the last one that I picked up is another very popular one that you guys love, so I thought I'd keep it in my collection as well. This is Honeymoon. This is a little deeper, a little warmer, a little bit more evening time. This one is stunning. I really like this one, so I'm excited that I have it in my collection permanently. So I did buy these a while ago, but I still wanted to share and swatch these with you, and in case you missed that vlog, if you aren't interested in watching vlogs, 
I did pick up these guys to add to my Tom Ford collection that I once had, but now I don't. <laughs> but now I do again. Um, I actually got this in the mail yesterday from ColourPop. I'm not sure if it launched or not. I'm going to assume it has because ColourPop is really late to ship over to me. This is the Apricot Me Not palette, and it looks so cute. It's definitely a more wearable palette, but it has these kind of, I don't know, peachy orangey shades and gold shimmers. This isn't anything super exciting from ColourPop but these are the palettes that I always end up loving and using the most even though it's not the most unique palette it certainly is a wearable palette like this is a vacation kind of palette for me even though I never go on vacation but these are colors that are going to work with whatever you're wearing you don't have to th think too hard about the look that you're going to do it's nice and summery for that vacation vibe so yeah I'm not particularly excited about this palette but wait till we get it on the eyes because I also got the Winnie the Pooh palette from ColourPop recently and I was so not into that color story and I wore it the other day and now I like love it. It's such a beautiful palette so I'm not gonna knock that ColourPop palette until I try it. And then the last two palettes that I have to share with you were sent to me in PR from Milani and one of these is like the prettiest palette I've ever seen Milani launch. We'll start off with the not as pretty one. This is the Smoky palette. So it is a full face palette and I think it's very cute. It says this is volume three so they have more i've never tried this before from them but i do love a smoky look with a nice silver and the silver swatch beautifully the other shadows i'm not sure i wasn't in love with the way that they swatched i used to love milani's eyeshadow formula but i feel like they've kind of changed it and I don't love it as much anymore. So we'll see. I'll have to do a full face look with this one evening. And I'll let you guys know if I ever get to that. Because this is a palette that I cannot guarantee I'm going to end up using. But if I do, I will certainly update you guys in my palette rankings. And then lastly, this is like the most beautiful spring palette in my opinion to come out at the drugstore. As you know, I'm not a drugstore eyeshadow fan. I have so much high-end luxury shadows, indie brands, you know, you, you can't beat the indie brands right now. They're killing it. But this color story makes this palette worth keeping. This is the Milani Gilded Flora palette. It reminds me of the Natasha Denona pastel palette. So this might be a good, more affordable option. The swatches in the shimmer seemed really nice. It's the mattes that I'm worried about. I think they might kind of blend away. So I'm gonna have to play with this. I don't know, should I do a Natasha Denona pastel versus the dupe? Because this is definitely the drugstore dupe. It also reminds me a little bit of the Mel Thompson palette with Sydney Grace though. I think you should get the Sydney Grace palette over this. This looks so stunning, right? It looks right on my alley. So aesthetically, I'm really into this, but this is a palette that I'm going to leave on my desk to play around with because I hope the quality is as beautiful as the palette looks. So there we have it. I did it. Those are 14 new eyeshadow palettes that have entered my collection recently that I'm going to plan on playing with over the next couple of months. Definitely going to continue playing with this Nomad palette and then I'll move on to some of the indies and lethals everything. I need to play with everything. Thank you for hanging out with me with some good eyeshadow talk. I hope you had as much fun as I did. You guys know eyeshadows are my favorite topic to talk about on my channel. If you like eyeshadow palettes, make sure you're subscribed to me. I have a huge eyeshadow palette rankings coming in the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.